we have with the Board of Education, the administration, and the faculty and staff here at Sweet Springs R7, we would like to wish the senior class of 2021 a warm congratulations, and we wish each and every one of you the best in all of your future endeavors. One of the best joys of having been here as long as I have been has been able to watch you guys grow up into the amazing young adults that you are today. Um, probably the best thing that I can leave you with um, was so important it was mentioned in the Bible twice. You have Deuteronomy 31 6 and Joshua 1 9 that tells you to be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and discouraged that the Lord your God goes with you every step of the way. So I hope that you remember that um, when you walk across that stage at graduation, the relationships that you've built with each other, with the other um, friends you have at school and with your teachers, those don't end whenever you walk across that stage. Um, so in the future, um, we've been asking you for years, what do you want to do after graduation? And that time has come for you to go pursue those dreams, pursue those goals. So as you're figuring out when you stumble, and you probably will because that's part of the process of growing up. Um, remember that we're here for you. Um, even when time passes and maybe things change just a little bit, we're still here. So um, at any point, um, make sure you come back. Let us know how you're doing. We will miss you so much. And if it's six years from now, Zach Mitchell will be in this chair. He's told me he's going to take my place. So he'll be, he'll be here waiting to talk to you. Right, Zach? Life is a journey, not a destination. Go where you choose and make it great. Hi, it's Grant Neymar. Uh, one of my most favorite memories in high school was uh, during a football practice. Uh, Coach Conley was literally fighting a bee, trying to have a whole fisticuff with it. Uh, pretty entertaining, as a matter of fact. Uh, I'll actually be passing on the phone to someone who I think looks like Alan Jackson. I'm Brock Bourne. Uh, my favorite high school memory was definitely the Carrollton football game, and I'm passing the phone to the worst driver in the school. Hi, I'm Tyler Bernard, and uh, my favorite memory was uh, when Eddie, the Alaska Assassin, laid a boom on me at football. And uh, I'm passing the phone to uh, the smallest senior in our, uh, in our class. I'm Wade, and my favorite memory is when, in high school football practice, when Tyler Purcell smoked Zaffer Lee. And I'm passing the phone to the kid with the worst hair in class. Hi, I'm Jared Clear. My favorite men memory is playing the championship my senior year, and I'm passing the phone to the best dancer. Hi, my name is Dominic Weber, and my favorite memory of high school was hitting a home run against St. Paul's. I'm now passing the phone to the greatest pitcher of all time. Hey, it's Cole Murphy. Uh, my favorite high school memory would have been scoring 24 points against Concordia in the first round of districts. I'm passing the phone to the person with the best style in the class. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Sims. My favorite high school memory is going to Nashville for senior trip, and I'm passing the phone to the next Bill Nye. My name is Zach Wogelsmeyer. My favorite memory is going to quiz bowl tournaments, and I'm passing the phone to someone who spends every hour of school in the gym. My name is Gatlin. My favorite high school memory is puking on the first day of basketball pra practice in ninth grade. I'm passing the phone to somebody that never comes to the Y when we ask. Hey, I'm Jade, and my favorite memory is probably freshman year of basketball, and I'm passing the phone to somebody that tries way too hard in PE. I'm Zach Mitchell, and my favorite high school memory is getting yelled at by Mr. Thomas for saying boys. I'm passing the phone to the best fisherman in Sweet Springs, Missouri. Hi, I'm Anthony Wall. My favorite high school memory is having a better passing percentage than Zaffer. I'm passing the phone to the working man. Hello, my name is Josh Norris. My favorite high school memory is flattening a kid's tire. I pass this on to the guy with the flat tire. My name is Edward Fuchs. My favorite high school memory is when I smoked Tyler Bernard during practice, uh, passing it to the real athletic director. My name is Cheyenne Meyer, and my favorite high school memory is when Conley was driving the Kubota and then he almost tipped it. I'm now passing the phone to the most uncoordinated person in the class. Hi, I'm Ethan Sims. My favorite high school memory is meeting Benton at the Cold Camp Track Meet. And I'm passing the phone to someone who only came here freshman year because they failed at Marshall. I'm Tanner Miller. My favorite memory was senior trip, and I'm passing the phone to the mailbox mauler. Bow down, 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 green. And my favorite memory is Jared Coyer shooting the nail pen across the ag shop. And uh, I'm going to pass the phone to someone that encourages me to do dumb things. Hi, my name is Cole Hudson. My favorite memory was going to Trenton Band Day a couple years ago. And I'm passing it on to the person who keeps me up at night.
Hi, I'm Peyton Navy. My favorite memory is getting married in art class and I'm passing the phone to my sister. My name's Avery Black, and my favorite memory is having choir class with Carrington Owens. I'm passing the phone with someone who randomly dances in class. Hi, my name is Dalton Eckhoff, and my favorite memory is in Wells' class. We did a Chinese fire drill on, <laughs> on choir, and he had a mental breakdown. Now, I'm passing the phone to someone who busted their eyebrow in the second grade by racing into the mailbox. Hi, my name is Carrington Owen. My favorite memory was going to school day at the K in the sixth grade. I'm passing the phone to the person who gets called Cruella by Mr. Wells. Hi, I'm Eli Warnicky, and my favorite memory is when Staples attacked the tackle dummy during practice. I'm passing the phone to someone who has the same middle name as me. My name is Caitlin Anderson, and my favorite high school memory was when I hit a grand slam my sophomore year. And I'm now passing the phone to the person that has the coolest hobby. My name is Kyla Giffen. My favorite high school memory is hitting my first home run. And I'm passing the phone to someone who gets read every single time they talk. I'm Kimley Hearing. My favorite high school memory is probably winning softball districts for the past three years. And I'm passing the phone to the girl who thought we lived inside the earth. My name is Leah Eagle, and my favorite high school memory is going to Top Golf on senior trip. And I'm passing the phone to the person who's most likely to get all called back to class. My name is Garrett Merrill, and my favorite senior memory is me and Josh stealing Cabos and going on joy rides. I pass the phone to the best musician in the class, John Duffy. Hi, my name is Jonathan Duffy. Uh, my favorite high school memory is probably Coach Conley fighting a bumblebee at practice, and uh, I'm passing the phone to the guy with the best hair. Hello, my name is Coleman Fogarty. My favorite high school memory was state track sophomore year. It was a lot of fun in the hotels. Um, I also scraped my nose in the pool, um, but that's a different story. Um, I am passing it to the tallest girl in the class. My name is Paige Bullock. My favorite memory is my first ever prom. And I'm passing this on to somebody who hates everybody else who's driving. My memory right. is going in the Capitol building in fourth grade, and I'm passing the phone to the meanest girl in the class. Run. I'm Kayleen Dorman, and my favorite memory has been at Com class with Miss Finner, and I'm passing the phone to the class of 2021. Good luck seeing your class. Uh, you're one of my favorite classes in the 22 years I've been here. Uh, you guys were great students, great athletes, great individuals. We wish you the best in the future. And let us know if you guys ever need anything. Sweet Springs will always be your home. All right, seniors, this is it. It's the last time I'm going to be telling you what you need to do for the rest of your life. First of all, have fun. Second of all, work hard at anything and everything that you want to do to achieve in life. Nothing's going to be handed to you. It does take hard work. And after working your way through a pandemic year, surviving what happened last year, you guys have the ability to do anything that you want in life. But you have to put forth the work and the effort. So good luck seniors, come back, make fun of Smitty, because everybody else does, and come back and see it sometime. Good luck guys. Class of 2021, uh, one, I congratulate you uh, on this big step in your life. Uh, I want to thank you for all your contributions to our school district over the years, whether it's success in athletics, from conference and district championships, to your success in FFA and FBLA and academics. Um, your contributions will, all, will never be forgotten. Um, take pride in where you're from. I wish you all the best of luck and uh, become productive members of society. And I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Go. Congratulations, seniors. And we hope that everything works out for you after you leave here. And we want you to know that you need to be the change that you want to see in the world. So congratulations again and good luck in your future. Hi seniors, um, I'm proud of you and all that you've accomplished so far. I'm um, just a couple pieces of advice. First, Mindy K. Lake said, you have the power to make a difference, so use it well. So I'm going to ask you to stay informed, look up the issues, and form your opinion, and then use your voice. My second piece of advice is don't be afraid to fail. Okay, the greatest lessons you will ever learn are from your failures. So, good luck and have fun. Class of 2021, I wish you the best in all of your future endeavors. Seniors, it's been fun. Deuces. Hey guys, you guys are going to do great things. Congratulations. See ya. Congratulations, seniors. Have a wonderful life. Hey guys, I just want to say congratulations to all you seniors and 
everything that you've accomplished. You've accomplished so much in the last four years here in high school, and since I've had you guys, it's been, it's been five, and it's it's been a crazy time, but you guys have still persevered and accomplished everything that you guys set out to do. So I know you guys are going to do great uh, coming up here in college and whatever uh, comes next in life. And I'm, I'm really excited for you guys. Make sure not to be strangers. Make sure to keep in touch. And I'm excited to see where you guys go. Hi, guys. You are my first class, grade 7 through 12. In that time, I've gotten to see you grow and overcome so many challenges. I'm truly proud of each and every one of you, and I wish you best in all of your future endeavors. All right, so basically you should have a vision for your life so you know exactly where you're going. You should already know where you've been, and that way you can live in the moment. Do you understand? In this world, people have basically a choice whether to live extraordinary lives or just mundane lives. This is obvious. In the next few days, people will give you advice about how to live your life and what you're going to do about the future. Well, this is obvious also. What I find though intriguing, and I need you to keep an open mind about it, is that a few of you will choose to embrace whatever gifts that you have, and you will live extraordinary lives because that's what you've chosen. In that, you'll not only live an inspired life for yourself, but you'll inspire others to live ex extraordinary lives. You remember, and keep an open mind, belief is contagious. Good luck. Happy graduation, Sweet Springs Greyhounds 2021. You guys have always had a special place in my heart and I just wanted to stop in and say that I'm really proud of each and every one of you. And um, just a little bit of advice for you. Um, I know I said it in class a lot, but it's, it's not hard, it requires effort. And I hope those words carry true with you as you go into your future endeavors, whatever they look like. Um, life is not always easy and um, it takes a lot of effort on our part to maintain a, a happy life and a life that is fulfilling to, to ourselves. So uh, be a joy to yourself, be a joy to others, always be humble, always be kind. Happy graduation day. I'm really proud of you. All right. Hey, Hounds of 2021. I wanted to say I'm very proud of you guys. You know, I missed you guys. We didn't get to finish up the year uh, last year like we wanted to, but, you know, I think you guys bounced back very well. Um, a couple of things of advice that I'd like to give you is uh, hard work pays off. Sometimes not always in the time frame that you want it, and sometimes not always how you like it. But uh, continue to work hard. Um, it does pay off. The last tidbit I'm going to tell you, um, everything's going to get better, you know, after high school, you know. You're not always going to have uh, great moments. You know, life is not fair. You know, um, sometimes things, you know, bad happen. Um, but, but I promise you it will get better. Sometimes it gets worse before it starts to get better. And uh, just, you know, keep plugging forward. But say so yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of you guys. And one last thing. Don't be afraid to be the big dog and let the big dog eat.